Jackson Radio Show. Let kids be kids. Welcome, everybody. Kevin Jackson here to Kevin Jackson Radio Show. KJRadio.com. Let kids be kids. You know, uh, there's a thing. I, when I was growing up, people would say, hey, so-and-so wants to grow up so fast. And we all do, I think, to some degree. You want to grow up quick. You, you know, you, you don't get certain things. You can't drive till you're 16. You can't, you know, vote till you're 18. You can't drink till you're 21 or smoke or whatever. So it's, there's always this thing of getting to adulthood. And we stretch it out. There are, there are people in the old days, four, five, you know, six decades ago that would get married. At eight. They'd be married and working on their first kid by the time they're 18 years old. And even going back further than that, when the you know, life expectancy was 31, 32 years old, people got married at 13. I'm not advocating for that. I'm, I personally believe, you know, that if, if you this age of, you know, that you're going to be potentially living is 80 years old. Yeah, you can stretch out your youth a little bit. I don't think it's 26 years old. I think what you should do is by the time you're 16 to 18 years old, you should start you know, getting out of the nest, planning for it, being ready to go. By the time you're 22, you're in a, you're a full fledged adult. I mean, unless you got a mental impairment or something like that, you're a full fledged adult. You should be completely out of the house, not wanting to go back, not willing to go back. Parents don't want you back and so on and so forth. Let kids be kids though. Let them get through that time frame where they learn about life the right way. See, leftists don't want that. The question you should be asking yourself is why won't the left allow that? Why are they trying to indoctrinate kids younger and younger to a leftist ideology, which leaves them in a childlike mentality until they're 30, 35? You ever met these people? I've seen them. I've seen them in video and sometimes I've seen them in real life. And you know what's funny about the millennial generation? They admit I was with one the other day. He's 24 years old. He's uh, plays minor league baseball. And he said to me the other day, it's clear, clear as day. He goes, yeah, he goes, I'll be honest with you, man. He goes, my generation, they're lazy. I see him. He goes, uh, cause he played baseball. He goes, you know, he goes, they're Dominicans and, and uh, Puerto Rican kids, man, they work their butts off. They are so, you know, they don't understand us at all. They look at, this is a white kid. He goes, hey, look at us. We've got pitching coaches, batting coaches, fielding coaches, all his parents spending thousands of dollars over a career, hundreds of thousands of dollars on a on a long shot. And he goes, I don't get it. He, he goes, uh, he goes, I'll be honest. I'm not I'm not gifted as an athlete, but he goes, I work my butt off. He goes, because I look at people who are in my, you know, work working in, in my uh, baseball and he goes, there are people out there. I'm like, look at the physique on this guy. This guy's an athlete. He goes, and they, they don't want to go to practice. They don't want to do, and he goes, they just have natural gifts, but he goes, I know if I keep working hard, I'll get past them. He goes, but that mentality is Kevin. He goes, it's so rare. It's so rare. And he wasn't trying to pat himself on the back. He really wasn't. He was just saying, that's just the way it is. And he goes, and be honest with you, I may not make it. No matter how hard I try, he goes, I don't have any, he's right. He's not, he's not gifted with speed to look at him. You wouldn't even think he's that good of a baseball player, but he is, but he goes, I'm not gifted with speed. I'm not overly strong. I'm not, you know, he goes, I just hustle. I I do all the things good that I'm supposed to do, but I do nothing great. He sees it. Anyway, what we've got is people being indoctrinated to be lazy, to be kids as long as they can see a kid doesn't want to do chores. A kid is like, oh, oh, it's when you grow up to understand why your parents go clean your room and then you've got host, uh, chores to help the family. It's because they can't do it all. It used to be that way when back in the old early days, farmers had eight kids. Why? They needed eight hands. <laughs> now I'm not talking about people, you know, that's 16 hands physically. I'm saying they needed eight helpers 
around the farm. They needed somebody to tend to the chickens, somebody that would tend to the goats, somebody that would tend to the, the sheep and the, you know, maybe they put the goats and sheep together, but, but, but tend to the cows, milk the cows, get the hay, keep the horses going, blah, blah, blah. They needed all those little cheerings running around. That's why they did it. So kids grew up quick. By the time you could walk, you had chores. But think about the work ethic that was instilled in you by the time by the time you were 10 years old, man, you had out a 10 year old back in those decades has would have outworked the average 30 year old in today's time before before noon. They would have been up at four, worked an eight hour day and still weren't over. You know, have time for breakfast and a little bit of prayer and then go back out and go do it again. Sun up to sundown. That's how it was done. Not anymore. If the actions, folks, of Nicholas Cruz and others like him teach us anything, it's that education is a ticking time bomb. And it's that way because of exactly what I just described earlier. Kids have no value for anything, no value of work ethic, no value of self. They don't understand what they're supposed to do in life. They haven't been put through anything. There have been few trials and tribulations. And it's mostly because of leftism. Somebody teasing them because they got big feet or they're redheaded or got freckles or buck teeth or whatever else. Each school shooting, each school showcases the world built by leftists, folks, and the time bombs that tick within them. Democrats, progressives, whatever you want to call them, they claim to have created this utopian society where kids don't see color. They don't see religion and so on. It's a big lie it's a lie it's something they want you to believe because they need you to believe it they need you to believe that democrat progressive ideas work they work so well look at what we're doing folks when one study says we have the least um you know prejudiced generation the least racist generation in the history of man in america and in the very next sentence they tell you just how bad it is well which is it are they the least racist? Are, are they the most tolerant? Tolerant of everything. There, there's hardly even a mention of interracial marriage. I'm serious. When I was growing up, interracial marriage was like, oh, you know, he, you know you'd see him and people would, it was a big deal. Like, well, I don't know. You know, it's, you know they've got to deal with the, the idea of they've got those interracial kids. Yeah. Holy Halle Berry, folks. That's what comes out. <laughs> we finally figured out, you know what? Shut up about that. They're going to produce some pretty peoples up in here. <laughs> So people are finally waking up and going, you know what? Maybe this isn't so bad. But let me tell you, leftism is not all it's cracked up to be. It's brewing up these victims and people that are always, they've got angst and they don't even know why. It is a, you, here's what I think. These people haven't gone through anything, so everything is something. What set this kid, Nicholas Cruz, off? I mean, he could have been just crazy. But trust me, folks, these time bombs are ticking all throughout, all throughout academia at every level. And the only thing that's going to make these schools safe are teachers being armed and them stopping with this progressive agenda that tells everybody that this kids like Nicholas Cruz are the enemy. Guys are not the enemy. White guys are not the enemy. Men are not the enemy. Whites are not the enemy. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.